Hello, my dear Leos. How are you? I hope everything is well with you. I hope that you're all feeling safe and happy and secure, that you're healthy and everyone you love is in, um, in good standing health-wise and security-wise. We are looking at a new reading. This is the first time I've ever done the message in a bottle reading. It is number four in the four weekly May readings and the final one. For the month of May. I'll be moving into June soon. So here we go. What is the energy that we need to have? The overall energy coming into this reading for our Leo friends. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is a general reading for the collective. Thank you subscribers and thank you for all new visitors. Thank you. Welcome. Cross watchers also. We love all of you. All right. For anyone liking to book a, wanting to book a personal reading, the information and my credentials are in the box below. And for anyone who would like to win a free reading or enter to win, um, please subscribe, comment, and like the video. All right. Leo, what's going on here? You have never ending story. So you have something going on that is starting to wear you out, bringing you to the edge, stressing you out. All right, I will read this as a love reading, but I will share with you anything else that comes through. Okay, chaos and conflict. Well, I think that that speaks to Crazy Gudden. I think a lot of us feel that way, so let's look and see what your energy is. Chaos and conflict, that's very stressful. All right, so Leo, Leo, you guys are so, you guys and gals, are very resilient, ruled by the sun, ruling the fifth house of everything fun and romantic. So what is going on with Leo? What are the messages spirit can give? Leo's our Leo friends and their love life. Messages in a bottle for our Leo friends. All right. High Priestess, using your intuition, psychic ability, telepathic communication. Oh, let's put that right there. All right, all right, that's the past energy that you're having with a love partner. All right, oh, beautiful. There you are in your reading, Leo. Your love life does not look like it's the area of stress, but we shall see. That's happiness, devotion, really feeling passionate about your lover, the infinity symbol, the rose indicating deep heartfelt love, not wanting to leave your lover's side emotionally or psychologically or in your heart space. And Leo, you are rule. You rule the heart literally in astrology. All right. Judgment card, a decision is made. Leo, what are we making decisions about? What are you going, that Scorpio energy. The high priestess energy is Cancerian energy, very nurturing. All right. So Leo, what is on your mind? I'm getting the Hierophant traditional values and how you would like to see those change. The Hierophant is a Taurus energy. We have Cancerian energy with the chariot. You want to move ahead very rapidly. There is a huge obstacle in the way. Money, bay, you know, there, it does look like money is an issue with the coins, but I think right now that's business, not as usual, correct? Look at this judgment card. Oh, heaven's sakes, I had my clarifier accidentally in this deck. They're the same deck except this one's smaller. I'm going to leave that right there because that was meant to be. So we have two judgment, two Scorpio energy. So you're, you're truly making a decision, at least emotionally, about something that has caused you a great deal of pain. For many of you, I feel this is a, a relationship that may be marriage or marriage-like. You just feel as though you're never going to be able to have success or happiness with it. The obstacles seem to be too great. All right. Ooh, Son of Swords energy, very inquisitive energy, very charging ahead, speaking your truth. You know, someone else speaks their truth, and here you are. Look at that beautiful energy. Six of Wands is like the phoenix rising from the ashes. This butterfly is ready to fly. 
you truly want to be happy. You want to love. You want to have your love returned. You want to be able to collaborate with somebody in life and, and with a mate in a way that um, leaves you feeling happy and content. So let's clarify these cards, Leo. Beautiful reading overall. I would say also this is probably for someone who is married or in some sort of traditional relationship in which you live with someone. Uh, or, you know, it, it's also for someone who's ready to take that move and make that move. So let's see. Let's clarify this never-ending story. What does that mean for our Leos? Conflict. Yes, conflict. Okay. The Father of Swords. It just seems as though a lot of this conflict is very sort of uh, an intellectual power play of who has the upper hand. Truly, this is unnecessary. It's just unnecessary. Coming to the edge of the Daughter of Cups, very emotional, very sweet for the most part. Uh, the Mother of Wands energy is also energy that says, if you cross me, I will bite you. And so you really shouldn't cross the, the you know, the Queen of Wands. Um, but this Daughter of Cups also is a destabilizing factor because it means that this energy, when, when too emotional, can feel easily betrayed in your life. So that could be you, it could be someone else. The Queen of Wands, though, is a fire sign energy. It's Aries energy. Let's look at the Chaos and Conflict card, Ace of Wands. You would, you would love to take action. You just want something to be over. With Judgment twice, you would really like an ending here. Okay, what is it you're going to initiate? You don't feel you can. The Devil card is, is there. The devil card is right there. You just, and that's really why it's a never ending story. So some of you are tied to someone and with whom you do not feel as though you can get free. And I would say the son and the daughter of cups means that this person, that you um, may have children or your love interest may have children. It is a vice versa reading. The roles can always be switched. Let's look and see what's the, what is this High Priestess about for you? <gasps> a new beginning. Ooh, beautiful. You intuitively know that you're about to have a new job, a new opportunity. Uh, for some of you, you have a deep understanding of that. For others of you, you know intuitively that you have an offer in love coming. That can be laws of attraction, Leo, the eight. Ooh, that is cutting through to the truth. The lightning strikes the sword. You are able to create a new beginning for yourself based in truth, based in happiness, based in beautiful heart space, based in your version of how you see a traditional relationship being very loyal and yet allowing a lot of freedom emotionally. Wow, the judgment card is met with a six of wands. You have a victory in love. Why else, what, okay, a victory after. A lot of conflict, a lot of burden that you've been carrying around. This judgment card is a release. That's what Scorpio energy is, right? It's a release. And look at your outcome card is the same thing. You are transcending. That is beautiful, beautiful energy. See, the, the butterfly is transcending in victory. Again, very scorpionic, very scorpionic energy. Phoenix rising from the ashes. Why is the Hierophant card here for our beautiful Leo friends? So let's see. Oh my gosh, Hierophant is clarified by the Hierophant. Oh, you feel as though you've been married for two lifetimes to this person. Good and bad, but still a lot of anxiety, I feel, is related very definitely to the Hierophant and the desire need for deep change, change, which you will get. Look at that. Okay, Leos, for my Leos that I'm reading for today, you are about to transcend the butterflies flying into a person of means and wealth. The uh, Father of Pentacles card is, he has, look at this, he has 
very big passion. He has a very sunshiny disposition. The, the green on the antlers is money and wealth and abundance. So what we see is you, Leo, transcending from a person who's very intuitive and very loving and very giving. You deal with a lot and you are about to cross that mountain. Let's see how you do with that. There, that mountain represents obstacles. It looks like you may be in a situation in which you do have another love interest other than your spouse. It looks like somebody at work is at least a very good friend to you. Oh, I can't believe it. I've clarified the Hierophant with the Hierophant and the, the Three of Pentacles with the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so let's look again. Why is the Hierophant card here? You want to heal from a bad marriage or a relationship, a marital relationship in which there was a lot of fighting, needless fighting, a lot of very emotional fighting, and it still appears to be going on, but you're trying to heal, you're withdrawing. It's hard to do with uh, social distancing, right? But you're finding your happiness. Nine of Cups, Leo, what is bringing that happiness along the way for you? Father of Wands. Look at that. We had Mother of Wands. We have Father of Wands. That's the energy of taking charge. You are taking charge. Chariot card, you are moving ahead for your financial success. What are the obstacles at work that are impacting our beautiful Leos and their love life? And I just had a card fly out. <laughs> oh, and we have Mother of Pentacles again. This is just a wild and crazy reading. Okay, Mother of Pentacles. So what we have is we have the Father of Pentacles, the Father of Wands, but the Mother of Pentacles. Okay, here we go. Father of Pentacles, Mother of Pentacles. I want to see more about this mountain. What is this obstacle? Please, Spirit, tell us about the obstacle. How will our Leos overcome the obstacle for their heart chakra, for their place of love in their heart? How will they find it? How will they find happiness with a soulmate? Wow, soulmate card, Gemini energy. You do have a soulmate, and you know who they are, and you found them for, through work through your environment. Could be a Gemini sun sign, moon rising, or Venus. All right, that is, how does your lover respond to you in this situation? Your lover is very understanding. The daughter of swords means that your lover knows the truth, knows the whole truth and nothing but the truth, and yet the daughter of swords is very gentle in the way she handles the situation. Wise judgment card here again. Look at that juggling two, juggling two, and it looks like two people. It looks like probably a wife or husband and a lover that you met at work that you may still work with currently. And this transcendence, juggling two lovers, but you are making a decision. You're making a decision, if not about the marriage, then certainly about your heart space. Again, the person who is your lover feeds you spiritually. They're, they ignite your passions and they ignite your ambitions. They, they also lend you incredible stability. You feel as though you're, you're blessed by good fortune by knowing this person. The son of pentacles, there may be an age difference. There's a very supportive element with that son of pentacles. And here you go, Leo, you're in the house again. The sun card, it's exquisite. Look at that. Why is the sun card here for you, Leo? Justice, you finally found balance. You found the person you truly love, the two of cups. You know what I love about this reading is that there's all this beautiful transcendence. It's very spiritual, the father of cups. So Leo, you are enjoying a scorpionic love. You feel it deeply. It's transformative. It's, it's healing the wounds. All of this is not going to go anywhere, but you have made the decision to allow yourself the freedom to love and the freedom to look at a new beginning in the future somewhere down the road. I do get there are children as a factor and your lover seems to be very understanding and very supportive of what's good, not only for you, but your entire family. And so that's a very rare bird, right? A truly rare bird. 
and you really you do know that you're coming from a place of spirituality this new beginning is all based in the fact that you telepathically and morally know it's really time to give up this burden and not carry it I am so excited for you, Leo. This is a fabulous reading. Thank you. Messages in a bottle. Message or messages. It looks like happiness is yours. A way to deal with this. You found a best friend and a soulmate. They are there. They will be there with you for life. What beautiful energy. Thank you, Leo. Talk to you soon, hopefully. Bye-bye.